tuning in for some movie reviews. Film flickers of movie reviews. Let's hear those movie reviews. Film flickers of movie reviews. And action. Hello, flickers, and today we are taking a look at the Monuments Men, starring George Clooney, Hugh Bonneville, Bill Murray, and Matt Damon, along with some others. But those are the main ones. It's a film set during World War II, or right near the end of World War II, where a group of art lovers have been tasked with finding and recovering lots of art stolen by the Nazis. Yeah, it's a, it is a very good story, and the humour in it is brilliant. I absolutely love it. I did get it confused with British humour, because the, the sarcasm is just so high. Um, but it is, it's brilliant, and some of the sort of like, sort of gallows humour that they, they have as well is just brilliantly tied in and you get that from those kind of like soldier types you know just you know this could be your last minute so why not just do whatever and it's 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 brilliant and um yeah it, it's it's good to see that obviously i mean it is a pretty much all american cast um of course there are a few foreigners yeah. uh thrown in there <laughs> but i i think that the main thing is is that the the, the the quality of the actors in this are just so high and the writing is so good mm. um, that it is it does there are so many moments very subtle humor moments as well that really just catch you it's brilliant and the, the it's writing beautiful. I mean the writing is really clever because it manages to do a couple of things which uh, a lot of films that are designed for for these specific tasks don't do well first it manages to do a war film that is incredibly entertaining um, yeah. way more than most war films it managed to teach you about art without really you realising you are learning over art, yeah. and it managed to show some of the really nastier parts of World War Two, like the the Holocaust and the uh, the Hitler Youth, yeah, and it does it in a yeah. very gentle way, and so yeah, yeah. you can you get the horror of it, but it's not thrown in your face like like most things do, and so yeah. you, you kind of get you, you get it by um by by little references, that yeah, little references yeah, yeah. in there. So it's some just genuinely incredibly intelligent writing, and the. I mean, yeah, the quality of acting is just mm. out of this world. It's, it's truly outstanding. Um, they, they get a lot of things right as well with with the the way that sort of certain things were, and they don't. It, of course, you know the, the Nazis were absolutely horrendous what they do, but they don't demonise them too much. In other words, you do actually get. I know it's kind of it's it is on the American sort of side, and you do have to have a baddie and stuff. Which actually tends to be the Russians, to be honest, which are which are trying to do the same job as the Americans, but not for the same reasons. Yeah, um, you do get but, that. You, but a, a lot of that, a lot of that tension isn't just the the, the Nazi fight. They do a really yeah, yeah. good job. Actually, one thing they do, and again, much better than a lot of war films do, is they make a very clear distinction between Germans and Nazis. Yes, and uh, that is that is important that as well is important, because yeah. a, a lot of the American troops did have those kind of assumptions that every German that they met was a Nazi. Mm. Um, but on sometimes they were quite right, <laughs> um, and there are some beautiful little moments where they are uncovered, and it's it's great to kind of see those moments. Very I mean, subtly done. Yeah, that is that that scene yeah, yeah. about is a very very clever scene, and it and it does it, it brings again because they do these little subtle things that kind of teach oh. you teach you bits. It's a very good part where they teach you that uh, the Germans weren't all guilty. Uh, but then, to show that difference, they then go to uh, that you see another German who is guilty. Yeah. But they they do it the way it's done is incredibly good, and it it really does hammer home the subject that that the, oh. the idea they're trying to bring across. But without little being little in your face, were just brilliant. <laughs> the kids were kind I mean, it was it was it, seriously you you saw them kind of reference every so often and stuff, but just their their little moment and stuff was just mm. brilliant. It's such good timing. Uh, yeah, there were, but there are genuinely really laugh out loud moments um you know and it is just because of the awkwardness of the situation and it's, it's but i just I, I love it it's so cleverly done and it is it is very anglified i think is the right way of saying it because it's i wouldn't I, I wouldn't say it was very very american in the in the sense sensibilities of it but i yeah, don't want to the, take away from the the, the writer obviously no no i mean the, 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 yeah. say the writer um did an incredible job but yeah the things like that there is humor in it and it is very subtle humor which um it does come across because yeah. the use of sarcasm is it does kind of come more across <laughs> as, as like an english style, so high. style <laughs> humor than, than the american style humor um but it's um oh. no just again just genuinely very 
clever script, both in the story and in the way that it's portrayed. Now, this is based on uh, a real uh, event. Yeah. Uh, the genuine were the Monuments Men did, did exist, and um, a nice touch is at the end of the film, they do black and white photos, and it's kind of, they're, they're basically scenes that were in the movie, but they're the actual photos of the real Monuments Men, mm. which is a really nice touch, a genuinely yeah, it, good it, touch. It just shows that they are it, 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 making making the point of grabbing attention to detail on the fact that actually what you see in the film did actually happen. Mm. You know, I mean, obviously it is dramatised and there are words thrown in that we, we don't know exactly what was said. But yeah, the, the attention to detail is just absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so, so good. And it's nice that it's respectful. It is. I think that's the, that's the key point, I think. Although it, we get entertained <laughs> and it's very funny and there are some really tragic minutes, I think the fact that it is so respectful to to those guys, the the, the actual people who mm. did did go through it and stuff, but yeah, I mean, it is just it's it's nice. It's it's nice and it's kind of you don't feel you know like you five seven one. <laughs> you don't have that kind of <clears throat> ang anger about the fact that it's completely misrepresenting yeah. the, the people who actually existed. Yeah, you know. No, all in all, this is uh, it's an incredibly good film. It's a very good piece of entertainment. It's uh, a, a, just an interesting film to watch, and it's definitely one you can just kind of sit down and mm. lose yourself to. But it's uh, it is slightly more cerebral than your your average action film, but yeah. it's worth the travel. It's worth it's worth the journey. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Bye, flickers. Bye. Thanks for watching the video, and if you did like it, then please hit the like button. And if you want to see more from us, then please hit subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you've got any suggestions for films that we should be reviewing in the future, please leave us a nice little message. Oh, and check out our previous videos.